Alrighty guys, I'm KC and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. Welcome to Modded Survival. The series where we are going to be building up a world here in Modded Survival. Now, I wanted to spend this first episode introducing the world, so let me just give you a tour of what you've missed. I basically just went ahead and built myself a starter house. <laughs> that is pretty much it, and I did some, some very basic resource gathering over here, as you can see. Just got a bunch of random stuff, sort of, all sort of some mining what took place and stuff. Just to get the, the first sort of bit out of the way. You can see I got a beam in the center of the roof there. We got a door here. It's a little bit, a little bit funky out that side. There's a creeper hole here. Yes, there's a creeper hole. I think there's a pane of glass missing somewhere because of a creeper, yes. But, uh, oh, there's some bushes around here, so I put some bushes here. Uh which has been serving as a food source, although it looks like they haven't actually finished. These two haven't anyway. So at least we got some food source there. But I want to introduce this series. So this is a modded series. It's 1.7.10 because, well, I've got my reasons. And this series is going to be at least attempt to be endless. If not, we'll do it in seasons. We'll do it in seasons, if not. But uh, I do want to try and do something endless, and you may be wondering, you may be thinking, oh, hang on, there's, there's farms here, uh, and there's a couple of other things there, and I want to talk about these. That's what I want to get into. I want to spend this first episode primarily introducing this series. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to think, you actually can't right click barley, so that is a little problematic, but yeah. So let me just turn my headphones down real quick, because that is deafening loud. Nah, that's much better. So this world is going to be built up between myself and a couple of my closest friends. Now they don't they don't do YouTube, so their videos won't be on YouTube, but we do play Minecraft together and when they stay over we do play quite a lot of it together. And I kind of feel really wrong about doing all of that and then not sharing it with you guys because I don't really make a habit out of gaming unless I'm recording. So I, I sat them down the other day and I was like, hey, you know what, I'm thinking of doing this Endless Modded series. And we have had our world on, on Modded Minecraft. Why don't we start a new world? Uh, and I can do it for YouTube. And then you guys can pop in for videos and stuff. And we could do the role play that we do, you know. And the, the idea is we build up kingdoms, we trade with each other, we form alliances, we form um, treaties, we form, we form wars. Uh, we do have war we do have rules on the server. You are not allowed to break player placed blocks uh, unless they're your own, or you have permission to do so. So, you know, I'm not allowed to go ahead and break down the houses. So let me just show you the houses. This is me mate Jace's house. He's not the grandest of builders, but uh, he's certainly getting better. And uh, just to save me, thing he. Uh, just to say me going ahead and doing it. Now, I will explain why I did that in just a little bit. But uh, this is me mate Jace's mate, uh, not mate, uh, boyfriend's little thing. Little dirt hut. Don't know why he chose a dirt hut. We got a little mine shaft here going down to diamond level, which we have all successfully fallen down now. Uh, I actually got twanged back down there by a skeleton. <laughs> But uh, we've all fallen down there. You can see we all kind of went, uh, me and Jace definitely went with a, with a similar built wood pallet. The, the spruce logs on the uh, the cobble and the cobblestone background. Because again, it was just what we had plentiful of. Looks like a creeper went off here. These are Jace's barley fields, or I should say, uh, this one was mine. But Jace took over doing the food for us for now. And the only thing that we have um, agreed upon in this pack is... Uh, as terms of starter items go, let me show you what what items we started with. We started with 16 apples. We started with, I think it was these two books here, and a stack of 64 emeralds. Now, when we play, we use emeralds as currency. And that may, may seem a little bit stupid because, oh, you can farm emeralds, you know. But uh, we have rules regarding emeralds. Okay rules regarding them one you are not allowed to automate your farming of emeralds okay now if you decide to set up a quarry on say 
you set up a quarry in an extreme hills, right? And you can get emerald ore there. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, but you are not allowed to go into RF tools. So if we just look at RF tools. You're not allowed to go into this mod and create an emerald only area. You are not allowed to set up automatic villager trading. You can trade manually with, with villagers because that obviously takes the time. And the idea is that you would trade away the stuff that your kingdom produces to go ahead and build up a um, build up your riches and build up your um, I'm failing to see your wealth. That's the word I was looking for. And you would build up your wealth within that world. You would do that. So I want to get started on what I want to do. Uh, briefly and that's I want to set up a blacksmith in this episode. I really do want to build a blacksmith I do want to start trading in a lot of stuff that, that we do that uh, we can do Did I just get XP? Where did I get XP from? I feel like I just leveled up so What you'll expect is later on Jace will probably be dealing with food stuff. I'll be dealing with uh, the more tech stuff and Callum yeah, uh, this guy is just getting into modded Minecraft, actually, uh, when it comes to that. So I don't know what he's going to be doing yet. There is another one of us, but he hasn't joined yet, uh, Semo. But, uh, yeah. So, that's what you can expect over this series. And I'll bring them in for videos when we when we exchange, when we actually have... Uh, when we go to Jace and we decide, like, hey, you know what? Um, how about you and I propose the an alliance with each other? You know, why don't we become allies and we'll set up a trade route and we'll have all of that kind of law and stuff going in. We did this before. It was, a, it was a ton of fun and that. So, yeah. So, to get started with the blacksmith, I'm obviously going to want to to focus on tinkers. Oh, my stomach is growling. And to, to, to focus on tinkers, I want to go ahead and get ourselves some grout. There we go. We got, we got a ton of grout, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a stack in there. Not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, I don't actually have any coal. I actually thought that I had coal. I mean, I have got four pieces. Huh. Don't know what happened to my coal, so... And I also don't know what happened to my bed. Jeez, I wonder if I wonder if uh, I did go out mining. Maybe I took my bed with me and put it down and forgot about it. That's possible. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to get some coal together. I'm going to get this grout smelted down to some seared brick, and then I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Welcome on back, guys. And I've got the grout smelting up. While it was smelting up, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go on an iron run. I'm going to get myself some iron because I want to make myself iron tools in this. I don't think we're going to be able to actually get the blacksmith fully ready, but I do want to get like the smeltery up and the tools ready and everything. And sort of place down our kingdom where our kingdom's gonna go. And uh, I stumbled across the first diamonds. The first diamonds. I thought, there we go, look. Let's go ahead and get these. Unfortunately, I don't have fortune, but diamonds should do nonetheless. Look at that. We got ourselves six juicy diamonds and a bunch of stuff. I've also got myself some ore berry bushes here, some aluminium ones, and that. Uh, can I mine you with an iron pick? Uh, mining level redstone, so no, I do need an iron pick. I meant, can I mine you with a stone pick? Because I don't actually have all that many tools. That one, I just need a stone pick with. Uh, I want that. Creeper cannot have that. Yeah, okay, so let me get some more iron gathered here, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. So, welcome on back, guys. And I just realized I'm just a head. <laughs> I am... Um, just ahead. Uh, what's going on with my skin? Maybe it's because I made my skin for the for later versions. This is 1.7.10. Okay. So we've got the grout now all done up. I got those diamonds. I did find a couple more diamonds. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll show you mostly what I've got in terms of, of in terms of what it comes to for mining. I didn't get that much because uh, I'm, I'm running out of a lot of time for this episode and I do kind of want to get on with what we're doing so let's just go ahead and, and uh, let's actually do I have a do I have a pane of glass uh, I know I have some sand oh yes yes I do yes I do okay cool uh, what about a bucket 
Do I not have a bucket? I know I had a bucket. But I, I, I guess I don't. I guess I don't. One, two, three. Lovely. Let's just uh, smelt up three. I know it's a little bit wasteful, but there's, there's not really much I can do that about that. So, what I want to do now is I want to... First of all, I want to pick a place in where we are going to, to base ourselves. And I also want to... I shouldn't have said first. First, I want to create the... The stuff for the, the blacksmith. Then I want to find a place to settle down with. So I'm going to one. Uh, I think six faucets. Is what I'm thinking. Like so. Then I'm going to one six drains. So. There we go. Six like so. If you've never created a Tinker Smell Tree before. This kind of works in all versions. I'm not sure if you can go bigger in 1.7.10 than 3x3. I think you're limited to 3x3. I think it's in later version. Uh, I want a controller. I want a tank, like so. Uh, and then what I want is I want three casting tables, so like so. And then three casting basins, like so. And then the rest we can just go ahead and turn into seared bricks like so i'm only going to make 32 just in case there's anything else actually i've got i got a good set stack of 44 there so there we go so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill this to the brim with lava this tank so this tank can be placed down and harvested and that's pretty much what we're going to do but before we do that we need to create some other things okay so that's, that's not in this pack so, let's just go ahead and create some sticks. Uh, go ahead and create ourselves some of this. We need to create something called patterns. And patterns are like this. So, I'm just going to create 28 patterns. And now what we need to do is we need to create ourselves a couple of things. First of all, a part builder. I don't think I've ever done a part builder out of spruce wood. You can do that out of any log. Next, what we need is we need ourselves a stencil table. Then we need ourselves a crafting bench. And we need ourselves... A tool station. I feel like there's one that I'm missing. Of course. Jeez. Actually, no. We'll need a chest. And that for a pattern chest. There we go. All is good. I don't really care about these books. So, I'm going to need gold. I'm going to need iron. And just that for now. I know I have some more gold somewhere. Because I remember mining a bunch. Thinking, oh, at least I don't have to... Do I only have three gold? I could have sworn that I mined a bunch of gold before this. I was like, oh yeah, finally I got gold. That's going to come in handy. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to be a little bit... A little bit... Sparing my gold since I can only make three casts. I could always make aluminum brass. What is brass? I don't normally make this, but... Uh, It is copper and aluminium because that may be a solution. So I've got two aluminium and four copper. Copper is certainly a lot easier to find than gold. So yeah, so I'm going to go and fill this to the brim with lava. I'm going to get myself some copper and then I'm going then to, I'll, then I'll meet you back. Yeah, back in a moment. Welcome on back guys and I've got the whole place. I've found our place if we look at our map. Uh, if I, I'm actually going to go into this map here. Uh, I figured we'd build our kingdom on this side of the river and have the river sort of separate us. So we've got all of this to play with here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just claim these chunks here because this is where we're going to put our blacksmith. And we're going to start plumping it down. So I'm going to show you how to make this. I've done this a few times. And while I make this, I just want to say that I find it difficult to attach to a modded series because the world is only temporary. This one, with this one being permanent, you know, I feel like I can attach to it. So let's not worry too much about these smoke two drains just yet. I want to go ahead and just put this down. Obviously, I'm going to make this look a lot nicer. We will put a building around it in the next episode. But as for this episode... Uh, it doesn't really warrant a building, if you know what I mean. Truth is, we won't have the time to make a building. I'm already uh, not just running over time for the episode. 
Actually, no, I'm on track for time for this episode, actually. But I'm also running out of the actual time that I have to record this in. I'm trying to break it down, make sure that I get all of what I need to get recorded, recorded. So let's just, I thought I grabbed you. Cool. So now we can go ahead and uh, complete our smell tree. And as you can see, we got our smell tree, like so. So just to recap, you need to put your smell tree controller on the bottom. I think the tank needs to be on the bottom, but I can never remember. I've tested it several times and I, I, I always forget. I don't know why it just doesn't stick in my head. Then these drains, this is how we're going to get stuff outside out of our smell tree. So I'm going to put a drain on each of these, these faucets, because obviously we, we need to use these faucets. And we've got six because one side we're going to have casting tables, the other side casting basins. And that pretty much gives us our smell tree. Now, if we click here, nope, sorry, my bad. Totally wrong one. If we click here uh, and I go, okay, you know what? I want to put this this copper in. Uh, let's do four copper. Back with you in a minute. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my phone. As you can see, we could only smell, uh, well, we, 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 we'll put four aluminium in there because we want this to mix. We want this to mix. Uh, make aluminum brass. Also, we'll put our, our gold in there. But we can only put nine in here, okay? We can only put nine in here because we got nine slots. If you want to put more in here and you want more slots, it's very easy. All you got to do is take parts of the smell tree. We're going to take seared brick and build up. And each layer that you add to this, so we're adding another layer, adds nine additional slots. So as you can see now, we've got 18. And we can keep going up and up and up. And I don't know if I've got enough to do two rows. I don't think I do. No, I don't, because each row takes 12. Uh, but I may be able to make enough here. So let's just go ahead and do this. There we go. We got ourselves another set. But uh, this is all liquid. Okay, we got gold, we got copper. Uh, so I'm going to put some more aluminium in there. So how, so how do we get this out? Uh, and this is where I've made a very, very small mistake. <laughs> I should have had one seared brick left over. Ah oh, man, I need, I need one seared brick. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. We can let this mix and we can work on this. But while this does, let's start working on something else. I'll show you how to get that out in just a little bit. For now, let's pop these over here. So this is just temporary. I am going to chop all these trees down, but we're going to work on something for that. Uh, but I am going to need more iron. I've just realized I'm going to need a lot more iron. So uh, this, this, this may not be the best thing to do. Okay, so... Let's put a, oh man, Nuggets three. Let, let me get some, we got 18 ingots in here. We got a lot of aluminium brass, which is good. The problem is if I put iron in here, I'm going to, to alloy it with copper. I'm sure it's iron and copper. Let me just make something so, ah, cut the back button. Uh, tin and copper, aluminium and copper, redstone and copper. Maybe iron doesn't mix. That's fine then. Let's go ahead and put iron in there. Maybe in the next episode we'll get into tools. I think that would probably be the best. Just because I'm running low on time for this episode and I'm going to need a bunch more iron, so I need to go mining. But if we go ahead and we do this, there's iron. You can see this is smelting down lovely. Uh, when it's well done, I'll show you how we can get stuff out of here relatively easy. So we've got two ways. We've got the basin way and we've got the tray way. We're going to worry about the basin way first and then we're going to worry about the tray way second. So I need this to smelt down. So whenever you want to iron, I mean, sure, just, just take your sweet time. It's not like I, I need you to rush or anything. Okay, so as you can see here now, we've got we got ourselves 72 iron ingots. That's actually quite a lot. So if we go like this and we right click here, you can see that it's actually going to pour it into here. And we can do this with all three. So we're going to get 18 out of here. Actually, that's actually made me a lot more iron than I thought it would. Maybe, maybe I'm going to have enough. I forgot. I've, it completely slipped my mind. 
this doubles our ores. Of course it does, yes. So we've got copper in here, so I do need to put more aluminium in here. Okay. So if we take this out, you can see we got ourselves some iron uh, some iron blocks. Okay, I am going to actually want another iron block. But like I said, that's the basin way. To get stuff out of here, we need to create what's called a cast, okay? And we can only make a cast out of aluminum brass or gold. So if we click aluminum brass, we right click over here. That's going to pour aluminum brass over there. We lose whatever we put into there. In this case, we lost an iron ingot, which is why you want to do this with a brick or a seared brick. But I didn't have any on me, so I'm going to do this. And then now I can just sort of right click and make myself an ingot. Like so of pretty much anything that I need to. I did steal... I did steal my, my mate's bed here so we can sleep, which is good. Uh, let me get a chest down here as well, uh, just to get some stuff into. So the next thing we're gonna, gonna get into is tools. I, I was like, oh, I wasn't gonna do this, but then I realized actually, you know what? I have the iron to do this, so we'll do this. Uh, I only want to make a couple of tools and I think that I need to go mining for more. So let's just get into this. First of all, we're going to make a crafting table. Uh, then we're going to turn our crafting table into a tool station. Uh, we're going to make a second crafting table, actually, because I, I, I need a crafting table. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our iron blocks. I need one more iron block. Oh, man, I, I completely messed that up, didn't I? That's okay, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. We can, we can put that back in there. Let's just go to iron. So let's get ourselves another iron block. We'll just go ahead and uh, toss that back in there. Copper ingots too. So let's throw in another aluminium. Like so. So we need four of these, which we have. Cool, 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 cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make something called a tool forge, which is this. Okay. And we'll get into that in just a little bit, but this is particularly the one that I want. So, let's start with the tool station. If you right click the tool station, it will show you a list of all the tools that you can make. If you click on them, it tells you what parts you want. But this is limiting, okay? You can only make basic tools. The tool forge is the exact same thing, only it's more advanced. You can make a lot more. And this is where we want. We want to make this lumber axe and we want to make this hammer, okay? So to make this, I'm going to make something called casts uh, which i just realized i don't have any cobblestone would you look at that by the power of magic i have iron jeez i wonder how that happened okay so we're gonna go to the stencil table we're gonna put in our stencils here we're gonna make ourselves uh, this tough tool binding we're gonna make ourselves this large plate head i'm going to make myself the uh, broad axe head i'm going to make myself the hammer head which is here and the tough tool rod okay these are all the stuff that we're going to need. Now, we do need to make ourselves some basic tools, uh, but we'll get to that later. Because, you know, these are pretty easy. You can figure out how to make the axe, you know, it's just that. Same with the shovel. I can do this between episodes. But right now, I want to get onto this. So, let's go ahead and make these up. First things first, I got some more iron. Look at that. Magically, 17 more pieces of iron. It's, 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 it's magic. So, I'm going to... Actually, no, that's not how you do that. I apologize, guys. I apologize deeply. I'm making mistakes here. <laughs> okay, so you go to the part builder, and what we want to do is we want to build these parts, and you can build these parts by just simply making them out of stone. And you can make your entire tool out of stone. It's not going to be very good, but you can. Now, the, the resource cost needs to match. It tells you here, material cost 8. Okay, so this is... Oh, that actually doesn't tell me the material cost. Okay. This one, I believe, is, is 8 too. Okay, control. Oh, it decided not to tell me the material cost. Oh, it's over the pattern. Of course it is. Jeez. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make casts out of these. Because, yeah, we could build it out of stone. But if we were to do this and I was to make this out of iron, this has a material cost of three. So one, two, three. It's not going to let me. It's not going to let me. It's just not. And that's because... To make it out of metals or alloys, you need to use the smeltery. And again, we just do the same thing. I want to go ahead and get my aluminum brass, or aluminium brass, however you want to say that. And I want to pour it over here. 
and that's going to make me these three casts, which is exactly what I want. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my iron, and I'm going to go to all of these three and make it. Now, I forget. Does this, this requires two, and this requires one. I need just one binding, okay. So now I'm going to pick these up, like so, and I'm going to pick up my, my casts. So now I want this and this cast. So this, this, and I actually need some more plates. So where's my plate cast? So, which is selected. Iron is selected, so let's select the aluminum brass, get ourselves this done. So we've got ourselves these tools, and now we're going to make ourselves the rest of the tools. So I need another two of these, and I need two of these tool rods okay so we've got that grab that and this is and these tools come in handy and there's a reason that i'm making these now we did originally have vein miner in this pack or, or excavator i think we had all excavator not vein miner but it's the same mod pretty much it basically allows you to chop down everything of a certain block but so uh, we took it out because we felt it, it just hindered the progression it didn't actually it kind of defeated the whole purpose of making Tinker's tools and stuff like that. And we felt it took away. So, KC's. I must have caught cap blocks. KC's hammer. And this is so if I ever lose it, people know that this is indeed my hammer. And now we're going to make ourselves a hatchet. So, we don't have vein miner in the pack. So, this these tools are actually really, really useful. So if I take the the cases, did I accidentally call my my cases axe? That's still gonna say cases hammer. Okay, I need to change that when I when I add stuff to it. So if we take this and we chop down the bottom block, it's gonna chop down the entire tree. And this is why I didn't clear this area out of trees to begin with. And this works with almost all trees i say almost all trees because there are certain trees that um are made through mods in the mod pack that it just doesn't work well with and it tends to have problems with your case of trees as well but you see we can just get ourselves a bunch of wood now relatively easy and that, that's what the lumber axe does but the hammer the hammer is even more interesting uh, the hammer is useful when mining because the hammer does a three by three area of stone, cobblestone, pretty much anything that you're, that you're going to mine. So if I decide that, you know, let's go here. There we go. I'm now successfully mining nine times faster than I would have otherwise. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. So please do leave that like and click subscribe if you want to see more from me, guys. In case you want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.